Today we are going to understand migration in core data which is part 3. If you are not aware about part 1 and part 2 please go and check. Be comfortable over there then come on this part 3. We are using same project and we will be continue with this only. So we have two entities parent and child. Parent have one to many relation between child. So we added this child relationship. If you will add one parent along with child one entry will go and just settle over there into your SQLite tables. So for this in view controller whatever structure classes you will use codable will be there and generic function will be responsible to create your objects and you can save them easily. Now we have to check whether we can discuss Apple is recommending one light weighted migration rather than heavy weighted migration two type relationships or have heavy uh, addition of new entries or entities without losing data we'll see how we can just update our migration so basically we have to focus on version 1 to version 2 and we need to just always save our data while jumping from one version to another version that I want to check. So this is our path. We will go to this path and we will see this is the core data example we have. Open it with uh, UI. We will see what tables. So this is the table child and this is the parent one. Completely empty. After saving this line number 41, one entry should be there. So you saw parent have one entry and child have one entry. The father name is Abhi and daughter is Dvija. Now I want to change something into parent table like name and age is fine I want to add job without losing this data so how I will do this quickly go and first of all do one change here select this core data example model and go to editor rather than create add model version you say it can be version 2 and you can add this something like that green tick is still on core data example make sure this time this example can attach with your versioning so if you will go and just select this one and you'll see here current version he'll say example so you need to convert it into example 2 so this will be the model version and now green tick is coming here now what you need to do is I forgot something into this parent entity that was something like job I want to add this I'll add one attribute now in this core data <coughs> model manager whatever we have created the container instance into that I want to add a descriptor this Mm, pay, pay persistent stored description so this descriptions are like ns persistent stored description entity will be there object will be there this object I want to create and it will be helpful for migration so there are two properties those are by default true so we should not worry about them but how we lift them we should lift them from exact path so this path is required application support so first you can take the url of your path and you should take help from default mail manager urls dot application support path and it should be my secure directory and at zero index i'll get this append some path which is my core data 
sqlite along with the extension if i'll get this url i'll create a description of store and this store will be ns persistent description store and you can end it with the url which i have without this url it won't work so make sure you have to enter the url now should migrate store automatically it's by default true from apple size so you should add or you are not adding no worries this is the property which is responsible another is for the skeleton it's lifting your mapping migration automatically so whatever mapping will be there in between relations of the entities of the tables and this should be also true but by default this property also always true so you don't need to worry about that thing only generally you can just add this for the migration this description store automatically two things will go as a true if you if you don't want to migrate then you can make them false or don't want to mapping then you can just make them false otherwise you need to comment them now we'll see one more thing the last but not least very important you need to add the same name same style for your generic purpose into struct like yeah this is a job this is the attribute i have added so go with this now we'll see our database so for right now age and name is there this data make sure it should be there it should not get deleted otherwise it will be not migration so again once you will save this one more entry should go and once i clicked on this things are done one attribute one column should get added added with the value so this is the column which we have added and this was null but yeah this is not removed from our side and the child style is still as it is and two entries are there thank you so much for watching this this is a simple style of migration that you can adopt into core data and you if you are forgetting something or if you lose some attributes you can add into your next version without losing previous data in next future we have to cover the icloud storage using core data how we can use we can put our database on icloud and then we'll forward on swift data so make sure subscribe it share it with your friends it will be very useful for them thank you